Hello people of the internet, welcome back. In this video I'm going to be answering the question what language I think in. Um, I think people, um, when they ask this question, um, they normally ask it like, can you hear in your thoughts? Like, do I hear my thoughts? So for background, in case anyone doesn't know, doesn't know uh, me or this channel, uh, I am deaf. I uh, lost my hearing as an adult and I use a cochlear implant, which gives me some access to sound, but I still can't hear like a hearing person can hear. Um, so my first language is English. I've also learned British Sign Language and Spanish as second languages, and I'm currently at university studying languages. Um, I'm also learning Esperanto, but that's not really relevant for this. I'm quite early in, in learning that. Um, but the answer to the question, what language I think in is, I don't really think in like one language in like grammatically correct sentences. I think my thoughts are more like abstract and then I'm kind of converting them into English or British Sign Language or whatever language I'm thinking. So my thoughts are kind of a combination of mostly kind of visuals. So if I'm thinking about a place, I think of how the place looks. If I'm thinking about a person, I'm thinking of how the person looks. Um, not their name per se, but I know the person's name. Like I can think the person's name. Um, and I, so it's kind of a mixture of visuals, uh, English words and signs. And when I think about English words, um, I normally am not thinking of the sound of the word. I'm either thinking of how the word looks or um, how it feels to say. Um, in the same way um, in sign language, I'm not thinking of how signs look. So I'm not thinking of someone else signing that word to me. I'm thinking of how that feels for me to do the sign. So that's kind of the way that I think. I don't tend to think in Spanish, which is interesting because I learned Spanish before I learned British Sign Language. So you'd think my thoughts would be mostly English, which is my first language some Spanish, which is my second language, and then like least British Sign Language. But actually it's not, it's mostly kind of English and British Sign Language mixed together, and then only Spanish from thinking in Spanish. Um, I feel almost like my English and British Sign Language are in one compartment in my brain, and then Spanish and Esperanto are in another compartment in my brain. So I'll get mixed up between Spanish and Esperanto, I'll get mixed up between English and British Sign Language. I'll never get mixed up across those two. So I'll never be trying to think something in British Sign Language and think it in Spanish or be trying, but I will get mixed up between Esperanto and Spanish. So yeah, Esperanto and British Sign Language or Spanish and British Sign Language or Spanish and English or Esperanto and English, I'll never get those mixed up. In but within those two categories, I will get confused and I'll like say the wrong word or think the wrong word if I'm trying to put my thoughts into words. So yeah, I hope that answers your questions. Um, very interesting. I, I'm interested to know like how other people think. Um, do some people think more like in pictures and like visuals and some people think more like um, in like specific, like in perfect grammatically correct English or whatever your first language is. Um, people who speak multiple languages, do you speak, like if you're speaking in your second language, do you think in your first language and translate or do you think in your second language? Interesting. I'd be interested to know. Um, also, I am autistic in case anyone is wondering. Um, does sometimes, you know, maybe that affects the way I think about language. Um, I didn't have a significant language delay growing up, so maybe the way I think is very, very typical about language. I don't know, it's very interesting. Uh, let me know how you guys think, if you're deaf or hearing or um, autistic or not autistic, or just let me know. It's very interesting to know about how different people's brains work and how they process language. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.